So, hi guys. Um, this is a conversation we would normally be having in class, but since I'm not here to do it, I'm going to share um, one of my favorite snack labels with you and kind of talk about what the information is on it. Um, one thing that we don't do very much, or we haven't done very much, I don't know what's happened in your health classes, maybe in middle school, is like read a nutrition label um, and decipher what's there, figure out what's there. That's a really important thing for you guys to be able to do when, um, you know, if you have uh, dietary restrictions or anybody in your family has dietary restrictions, those um, nutrition labels are really kind of important. Um, in the page in Canvas where um, you guys got the assignment for today where you uploaded the picture and uh, added your, you had the, the Google Sheet for the ingredients, there were three questions sitting there or a bunch of questions sitting there. Um, <clears throat> and I kind of want to talk about what the nutrition label itself means, okay? Um, the nutrition label that's there on, um, in Canvas is actually for um, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, um, my favorite kind of ice cream, which is um, coffee toffee crunch. So the serving size is how much you're supposed to have. So there are supposed to be four servings of, ben and, of uh, coffee toffee crunch in a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Um, I don't have the willpower <laughs> to eat, you know, a quarter of, or yeah, a quarter of the container. So it's one of the reasons why I haven't had it in a long time. All right. But if you take a look at the information that's there, it tells you the amount of calories in a serving. All right. And then it tells you what, how many calories of that total amount are from fat. <clears throat> and depending on what kind of diet you're on, um, you might want a high fat diet or a low fat diet. Most research says that a lower fat diet is better. But if you're going to have fat, have real fat, not fake fat. And we'll talk about um, what that is in a second. Um, these percentages, okay, here, and there's a little star that we'll take a look at in a second. These percentages are um, the percent that of your daily value that your calories are supposed to come from, all right? So the percent daily values, it says down here at the bottom, are uh, based on a 2,000 calorie diet. So a quarter of this pint of Ben and Jerry's gives you 14 grams of fat, uh, which is 22% of all of the f grams of fat that you're supposed to have in a day. <clears throat> it also has um, nine grams of something called saturated fat. And we're going to talk about the difference between saturated fats and unsaturated fats, um, I think, in the next investigation, in the next uh, evidence. Cholesterol. <clears throat> you've heard a lot about cholesterol. Um, there's two kinds of cholesterol, the good cholesterol and the bad cholesterol. Um, cholesterol is found naturally in your food. And this pint of ice cream, the quarter of the pint of ice cream, gives you 18% um, of all of the uh, cholesterol you're supposed to have for the day. <clears throat> sodium or salt. Uh, most Sodium is one of the main, one of the two main components of salt. Um, 75 milligrams is 3%. Carbohydrates, they divide carbohydrates into two groups, uh, dietary fiber and sugars. Um, other uh, food labels, and you'll see when we look at my favorite snack food label, have um, added sugars too, right? So carbohydrate carbs are not an enemy, and we'll talk about why that is um, and why it's kind of gotten that name, um, that carbs are the enemy. Fiber is what they call, what your parents or grandparents might call roughage. <laughs> Um, ice cream's not going to have a lot of fiber. Um, it's non-digestible by humans. And again, when we get to the next uh, piece of evidence, we're going to talk about it. So they divide the um, carbohydrates into the two basic types. And like I said, the new ones have um, added sugar too. And then protein. Okay, um, ice cream has this ice cream has some degree of protein in it. At the bottom are the vitamins and minerals that we need for our diet. This ice cream will give you 10% of the amount of vitamin A that you're supposed to have, 0% of vitamin C, 0% of iron, and 10% of calcium, okay? So um, that's how you read a nutrition label. Some nutrition labels also say um, amount per serving, calories 
250, and then it might tell you the amount of calories you consume if you eat everything that's there, right? If you eat the whole container. I know soda does that a lot, or a bag of chips, um, if it's a multi-serving bag of chips. If you eat the whole bag of chips, it's this many calories. And that gives you a second to stop and say, if you're reading nutrition labels, say, okay, is that really something that I want to be consuming? Do I want 400 calories of soda? Um, or am I gonna seal that bottle up when I drink about half of it? All right. So that's how to read a nutrition label and the information that the nutrition label gives. Um, what does that say about the contents of our food? Um, it varies, right? Different foods have different amounts of these nutrients. Um, and um, depending on what you eat and how much of it you eat will determine you know, the nutrients that you get. We're gonna have a conversation when um, I'm back in class with you guys to how this connects to marking period one. But I want you to think about that. How does this information go back to um, unit one, the turtles? Where does this fit in those three investigations? Okay. <clears throat> so let's take a look at my favorite snack. Um, one of my most favorite snacks are Nature Valley sweet and salty nut granola bars. Um, I crave the salty sweet combination, like pretzels dipped in a Wendy's Frosty or Wendy's French fries dipped in a Wendy's Frosty. Whew. It just hits all of those little craving points that I have. It's fabulous. So I like it because it's sweet and it's salty. If you take a look at the top three ingredients in my um, sweet and salty granola bars, it's roasted peanuts, high maltose corn syrup, and sugar. All right. Uh, and hopefully you guys have already um, put your ingredients uh, in that spreadsheet and uploaded the picture of your wrapper or your nutrition information, however you have it, okay? But if I keep reading, it's whole grain oats, tapioca syrup, palm kernel oil, rice flour, fructose, whole grain, wheat, peanut butter, uh, canola oil, maltodextrin, salt, partially defatted peanut flour, soy lecithin, reduced mineral whey, Non-fat milk, barley malt extract, honey roasted almond butter, uh, baking soda, natural flavor mixed to cough rolls added to retain freshness. All right. There was um, a Breyers ice cream commercial when I was a kid. And, um, you know, they had like a, a container of Turkey Hill ice cream or a store brand um, of ice cream. And there's like little six-year-old kids trying to read it. And what they're reading, you know, are words that are, you know, 15 letters long. And it's some of the stuff that I talked about here, like tocopherols um, and soy lecithin and that kind of thing. Um, and Briars, the little kid is reading it and it's like milk, cream, sugar, vanilla, right? So it's almost like you have to learn a different language to know what you're eating. And there's a movement now, um, a clean eating movement. So, um, and you, this is definitely not something that you would eat if you were trying to eat cleaner. So let's look at the stuff from the beginning. So roasted peanuts, yeah, we know what they are. High maltose corn syrup, okay? Um, high maltose corn syrup, um, if it's any kind of syrup or a corn syrup, it's a sweetener, all right? And uh, maltose is a particular kind of carbohydrate. So this is a liquid sweetener um, that they put in to make um, the, um, the bar sweet and probably a little sticky too because if you see the picture um, when you pull it apart like it gets a little stringy and a little sticky and the honey that's in there um, in the honey roasted almond butter might have a, a part in that too and sugar we know what sugar is sugar is a carbohydrate so um, the first two of the first three ingredients are sugar all right, um, if you keep reading whole grain oats, we know what that is. Tapioca syrup, guess what? It's another kind of sugar, just made from, from um, tapioca. And if I keep reading uh, palm kernel oil, if you guys um, take environmental science, shameless plug, take environmental science when you guys are seniors, um, we cover, the, we talk about uh, forests and um, we talk about um, how some of the rainforests are being destroyed 
because people are um, planting palm oil. Um, if you look at the nutritional label on my granola bars, it says um, trans fat. Trans fat is zero grams. So I'd say maybe 15 years ago, um, trans fats were in lots of food. Um, trans fats are really, really unhealthy fats where um, they process a healthy fat and make it unhealthy to increase the shelf life of um, some of these products like granola bars. It's also what makes pizza taste really good. Um, but the government banned them. So um, there's a limit on how much trans fat you can have in food. So they were looking for a replacement for trans fat. So they found out that palm, like palm trees, um, palm oil is a good replacement for it. Um, so there's palm oil in virtually every food that you guys eat. Um, check your pantry at home and see um, how many things have palm oil or palm kernel oil. All right, rice flour is the next thing on my list. Uh, fructose is another sweetener. Um, one thing that's interesting about um, fructose and uh, the first one, was, the second one was high, high maltose corn syrup. Anything that ends in ose for the most part is gonna be a carbohydrate, it's gonna be a sugar. So if you're looking through and reading like ingredients on your stuff, um, sucralose is Splenda, it's fake sugar, right? Sucrose, glucose, dextrose, maltose, lactose, okay? Um, those are all sugars. <clears throat> so uh, that was fructose. Whole grain wheat, that's pretty easy. You know what that is. Uh, peanut butter, and if you look at what's in peanut butter, it's just peanuts and salt, which is nice. Uh, canola oil, so it's another kind of oil to make, that's an, which is a fat to kind of make everything taste really good. Maltodextrin, maltodextrin um, is a thickener, and uh, maltodextrin is also a sugar, and they put it in to extend the shelf life of some of these products. So granola bars and, and your shelf-stable snacks, it's what they call them, um, are gonna have some kind of maltodextrin in them, okay? Um, we keep going. Soy lecithin is another thickener. Um, some people have issues with soy, so if you have a soy allergy, um, you're not gonna wanna eat this. Um, reduced mineral whey, non-fat milk, barley malt extract, uh, honey roasted almond butter, baking soda, we know what baking soda is, whatever natural flavor is. Uh, mixed tocopherols, okay? Tocopherols are a fancy way of saying fats. Um, so when you add certain kinds of fats to the, um, to the material, um, to the snack, it's gonna retain freshness. It says added to retain freshness. So basically that means it's gonna have a longer shelf life. Um, and fats in general, all the oil that's in here and the fat, it makes food tasty. Like fatty things normally when they get on your tongue, it makes your tongue go mmm, right? Like between fat and sugar, okay? So it's really important that you guys understand how to read a food label. Um, so hopefully that was helpful for you. And now you guys can answer the questions.